I'm Lisa K. Donner, along with Jeff Charles, Sarah Calgill, Tim Donner, and Andrew Moran. And this is the Conservative Five, Liberty Nation's online TV news program. It's Super Bowl week featuring the Kansas City Chiefs and the Brady-led Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But since the country is still somewhat under quarantine, we're going to look at the many crafty and ridiculous plays of the ongoing game in the swamp. AOC is lobbing accusations of abuse and attempted murder. Mitch McConnell is acting like a woman scorned over President Trump. And some are musing that fencing around the Capitol is simply keeping Joe Biden from, well, wandering off. So here we are, ready to bring you the Swamp Super Bowl of leftist antics. Tim, who is your loony player of the week and why? I'm not going to pick a single person. I'm going to pick every person that continues to call for the removal of Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz from the Senate. It isn't enough to go after President Trump and try to impeach a president who's no longer president understanding, of course, that the point of impeachment is to remove someone from office, not to punish them. So therefore, there's no basis for impeaching a former president. But that's not enough for the left. They need to go further and call for the removal of Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz for daring to ask for an audit of the election on the famous day of January 6th. And so, you know, the fact of whether the election deserved to be challenged or not is separate from the issue of whether a senator can be censured or removed from the Senate for doing the most fundamental chore of a senator or fundamental privilege, which is voicing an opinion. Okay, Sarah. Okay, well, just this week, and, and you got to love this, the spokeswoman for the White House and for President Joe Biden, who can't string three words together, it seems, to make a coherent sentence, um, she apparently can't either. She's the most uninformed, unprepared press secretary I've ever seen. And geez, if she didn't tweet out the dumbest thing a Democrat could tweet, and that's calling Lindsey Graham gay. You don't use the homophobic slur in your everyday business practices. I'm sorry. Lady G is not the way you handle things. You little red haired weirdo. She needs to step down. <laughs> She's going to have to uh, circle back with you on that, though. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Sarah said a love affair with Miss Pisaki or however you say it. Uh, uh-huh. Jeff, go. I am going to have to go with media activist Brian Stelter. Uh, who recently supported censorship and tr- tried to call for a, a diminishing Fox News and other conservative-leaning outlets and people on social media because they say things that hurt his feelings. So he, but I will give him, I will give him points. He did channel his inner Al Sharpton when he said, you know, uh, freedom of speech is not the same as freedom of reach. I, I, I had to give him a, a, some applause for that. I think he actually consulted with Sharpton on that rhyming scheme because that is very Sharpton-esque. But the notion that 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 you are a propo- promoting free speech but just saying you just want to diminish somebody's reach because you don't like it is trying to diminish free speech and of course he's not going to acknowledge the fact that his own outlet has lied on numerous occasions blatantly he himself has lied but their lies are okay they, they they're okay with lying as long as as long as they're doing it so yeah he he, he is my he is my uh, star player here just jeff you need to remember one thing along the line of rhymes. If the glove don't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, Andrew, what do you got for us? All right, I'm gonna have to go with CNN's, again, uh, CNN's Chris Saliza. Uh, he was talking about the whole GameStop saga and the hedge funds. And for some odd reason, he decided to tie in President Donald Trump and blaming him for what happened by talking about his message of the anti-establishment, you know, all, all everyone on Wall Street bets who, 
you know, ag- agreed with Trump and they started going after the hedge funds and the whole Wall Street saga. So CNN's Chris Saleza is my top pick. But I have to go for a second pick. And I'm going to go with Jimmy Kimmel because he says that the Wall Street bets people who pumped up uh, GameStop are Russian agents or Russian disruptors. Excuse me. Oh, oh that, 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 that's really good. <laughs> Isn't right. it obvious? Yeah. I thought that was obvious. I thought that was an established fact. It isn't? No. In Mother right. Russia, so, GameStop disrupts you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So this little ditty was found in our headlines written by Liberty Nation's Joe Schaefer. And if you don't get our daily briefing and don't get our headlines, you're really missing something. They're fantastic. Mm-hmm. But I'm quoting mm-hmm. Joe here. Uh, two progressive state representatives in New Mexico are sponsors of a bill that would end mandatory minimum prison sentences for offenders convicted of sexual assault against children. This is according to a local New Mexico newspaper, a fiscal impact report on the proposed legislation clearly states that quote, it eliminates the mandatory minimum term of imprisonment of three years for second degree felony criminal sexual conduct of a minor The New Mexico Republican Party is crazy calling it despicable, Um, but this was tucked away in legislation pertaining to fish and wildlife infractions. Uh, Oddly, both of these legislators, representatives Karen Bash and Andrea Romero are women. Going easy on people who prey on kids, for shame. Well, guys, who should win our Super Bowl Player of the Week? Let's vote. We've got Jen Psaki. We've got uh, Jimmy Kimmel. We've got uh, who do you got, Jeff? Uh, I, I would I, I would actually go for for the legislators that you just named. I mean, the idea that we that we don't have mandatory minimums for people who abuse children that that's disgusting. Yeah, two women, and, and you're the father of two girls. I, I thought that might speak to you. Anyone else? I'm going, I'm, I'm going I, with that one, too. Me, too. New Mexico needs to be pimp slapped for the crap they keep spewing. All right. Are uh, you on board? Make it unanimous. Are you still going for uh, uh, your Jimmy Kimmel? I'll agree, but I will say that Jimmy Kimmel, his statement is the personification of the left over the last four years when everything is Russia, even when it comes to a stock. Fair enough, but I win. Yay. Well, guys and gal, thanks so much. And that'll do it for the Hall of Shame and the Super Bowl of leftist loony antics. That's it for our Conservative 5 panel today. Check out our other C5 shows and segments on your favorite video platform, YouTube, Vimeo, Rumble, we're on them all. As well, Liberty Nation has its own Roku channel where you can see all our TV productions. Thanks so much for tuning in. And remember to surf on over to LibertyNation.com. Sign up for our new member zone, just $17.76 for the year. And remember, Liberty all the time and everywhere.